I, I think the majority of people in the church uh, do understand that this has happened and it's continuing to happen and will happen until we make some major changes in the church. And the main thing that has to happen is that we have to ordain people who are more fully developed persons before they are ordained. A big part of the problem was due to the fact that uh, priests uh, are, well, according to a study done, authorized by the Catholic bishops in 1971, there was a psychological study, a sociological study of the Catholic priesthood in the United States. And that psychological study was so revealing. It indicated that there were, a, a, out of the whole body of priests, if you start at, say, the level of developed persons, it was less than 15% developed, where you would say a person is reasonably well developed. You know, no one, I guess, is absolutely fully developed as a person. You're always growing and developing. But then there was a, a large number who were underdeveloped, and that was about two-thirds of the priests in the United States. Then there was a smaller segment, 12, 15, who were developing. See, they're going through a change. They're starting to grow up. They're starting to realize, when I made my choice to, at 14 to be a priest, I wasn't really capable of making that choice. And so as I grow and become a full, more fully developed person, I'm going to leave the priesthood and find another way of life. And many have done that. And then at the top or the other end of the spectrum, there's about 10% that the studies said were severe neurotic or even psychotic personalities. And so you, you have a whole group of priests that are obviously very capable of being perpetrators. They're sick, sick people. And but even, but the underdeveloped, I, I think, are the main uh, the problem. Because what would happen is a priest is ordained at 25 or 26 years old, but psychologically he's still a teenager. And so he, you know, in the seminary, all that's controlled because you're living in a very tight, rigid environment. You get out of the seminary, go to a parish house, Live, and you're much more on your own. And if you're uh, 25, 30 years old uh, in years, but only 16 or 17, who are you going to be attracted to? The teenagers. And so, and even younger people. And so that has caused huge problems. Now, when that study was done in 1971, uh, it was authorized and paid for by the bishops. The people who did the study came and reported at a national meeting telling the bishops, here is the situation. And the bishops accepted the study and then never did anything with it. And that was 1971. If they had done something immediately and said, we have a problem, we have to try to, to bring about development, even if it means a priest is not going to leave, and that, I think that was part of their fear. If we encourage this too much, more priests will leave. And, and that was a period of time in the late 60s and through the 70s when there was a huge exodus of priests and the bishops were afraid there'll be many more. And so they just put the study on the shelf and never did a thing with it. Well, I think part of what we saw happening then in the 80s and 90s and this decade uh, the, the consequences of our failure to do anything about, with that study. That could have, I mean, it wouldn't have prevented all that had already happened, but it could have helped to bring about a priesthood of mature people and uh, less uh, likely to engage in this kind of problem. So if we're going to really get at the roots of the problem, we have to get at the structure, the, the clerical structure, the clerical culture. We have to do much more to bring both fully developed persons into the priesthood. And uh, uh, 
we have to allow the survivors to have their day in court if we're really going to resolve the problem. So I'm still convinced of this and uh, committed to, to work toward these goals and to be part of SNAP and support all that they do in order to bring healing eventually to our church. And I trust that many of you will share in the effort also. Thank you very much.